In this video, I'm looking at how to calculate Kc for heterogeneous equilibria. So first of all, what's the difference? Well, if an equilibrium mixture is homogeneous, then all the reactants and products are in the same physical state. When that's the case, all of the species must go into the Kc expression. However, if you've got an equilibrium mixture that's heterogeneous, i.e. the reactants and products are in different physical states, then you only put the gaseous and aqueous species into the Kc expression. So all I'm going to do is look at this example. So we'll read through the information and then if you want to pause the video, try it yourselves and then play on when you're ready to see the answer. So we've got this equilibrium below and it was found that at 300 Kelvin the equilibrium mixture contained that many moles of silver ions and that many moles of Fe2 plus ions. We've got to calculate Kc and give the units. So if you want to pause the video now, have a go and then play on when you're ready. So first of all there's the Kc expression. Remembering the rule for heterogeneous equilibria, we're only allowed to include aqueous or gaseous substances. We've got no gaseous substances in this equilibrium, so it's just the aqueous ones go in. It's still the concentrations at equilibrium of the products over reactants, and remembering that if we have numbers in the equation, they become powers. So you can see those silver ions are being squared. So then we just put the numbers in, so I'm getting a Kc value of 1.04. So we'll have a quick look at the units now. So the units for concentration are moles per decimeter cubed. So we've essentially got moles per decimeter cubed divided by moles per decimeter cubed squared. So we can cancel this set of moles per decimeter cubed with one of these. So we're left with 1 over moles per decimeter cubed. And then taking everything up to the top, it becomes dm cubed mole to the minus 1. 